So you watch real estate videos and you hear a lot of superlatives. Fantastic, enormous, the best you've ever seen. What you really have here is a house that has been built out of sheer passion and love. There is no expense spared in this property. At no point have they pulled back. I mean, if you're going to go to 10, this house has gone to a 12. <laughs> Whoever said money can't buy you happiness, clearly has never been on a tour of 74 Bacton. Prepare to be wowed. So this home was eight years in the making, and in that time, no one has been through it. So we're gonna create a video over the next four days that'll give you an in-depth look at what the home offers. It's a chance for you to really have a look around, see all the features, because there's a lot of them, and give you an opportunity to understand whether this could be the home for you. So I can tell you, after working for nearly 15 years across several different markets, being Sydney, Brisbane, and also in the Dubai market, that finding a house of this scale, magnitude, and luxury is very, very rare. The scale of this house is like nothing you've ever seen. If you considered the average house size block in Brisbane, you're probably looking around that 400 square meters. This house is 3,000 square meters under roof. It's almost like everything that you ever wanted in your scrapbook of desires has been put into one home. Try and find a property that offers you essentially two versions of everything. We've got an indoor cinema. Okay, that's kind of standard. But do you have an outdoor cinema that's got its own little sort of amphitheater area? 24 widescreen TVs all interconnected on a home savant system. There's 35 security cameras that scan the property continuously. We've got an indoor spa and outdoor spa. We've got an indoor gym, we've got an outdoor gym. Did you want an indoor barbecue tabernaki? Outdoor barbecue tabernaki. We've also got a soccer field. So we brought a team in. Full championship tennis court, which also doubles as a basketball court. Everything that you could possibly want to do in this house is here. And then you've got the extras. We've got the garage and we'll get to that later because that deserves its own segment. And then the arcade, like a kid's arcade. I shouldn't call it a kid's arcade because I think I got lost in there for about an hour. You've got the golf simulator, you've got the bar, you've got pool table, the shuttle board, and this all connects to the arcade. And then upstairs where the office is, you can just pop down here. So let's face it, you're not gonna go to the office. When it comes to kids, I mean, this house is a paradise. The original concept for this room was to be a bowling arcade, but they chose to uh, go down the road and put all these pinball and gaming machines in, which is pretty great. Literally, I have spent a fair bit of time during today's shoot playing these games. Right now, it's obviously customized and you've got the arcade and the garage and the home office. But if you wanted to change that year round, you could, but oh, I don't know why you would. You've heard of event cinemas, you've heard of Five Star. Well, this is Bacton Star. So while I'm casually reclined here, we may as well go over the stats of the house because there are four buildings on the property. The internal garaging to the main house itself has three cars. That's notwithstanding the 30 plus car park that you have in the separate building. So the actual house itself has six bedrooms and six bathrooms, so they're all ensuited. The kitchen has got a butler's pantry and a galley. Attached to that is the wine cellar. You've got multiple family rooms, the living room with a cinema. You've got a cardio gym and a weights gym. You've got your sauna, you've got your spa, you've got your music room. There is an actual designated office. And on top of that, there's three study areas. So this is a continuation of what's really the entertainment precinct. So you come out of the cinema and we've got a bar and a pool table area, and this all spills out onto the pool. And when you walk out into that area, it's layered down to the spa, another barbecue, and another relaxed seating area. We then start to move into the more wellness part of the house with the cardio gym, the spa, and also the steam room. This is exactly what you'd expect in a master suite in a house like this. The luxury, the appointment, the size, the outlook, the city view, it all is really taken in from this room, which really sets the tone and probably the continuation of how you would live in this house. The bathroom itself has an agape bath imported from Italy. 
and that too is really quite reminiscent of everything else that features in this home. Too much thrust. This house is so big that by the time they find the five-year-olds who are playing hide and seek, they're ready for prom. So as far as man caves go, this takes the cake way too much. While this garage is a complete showroom as it's set up now, there is storage for more than 35 cars depending on how you actually park them. But the truth of the matter is that this space could be used for anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be a garage. Being in time zone. <laughs> and a vanilla milkshake. It is highly, highly, highly addictive. I don't think you need to leave here. Ah! If you've got lots of kids, you're gonna need GPS trackers. Money won't buy you happiness, but I'm willing to try. 